Hi, Jamie Guyland, Senior Instructor at Royal Manchester Golf Links. I wanted to show you how you can improve your putting today. We've got a really useful tool here at our academy called the SAM Putt Lab, made by Science in Motion Sports. This thing is literally the best in the world for putting. It's going to read everything you do before you hit the putt, such as alignment, as well as what you do with your stroke mechanics. The best players out there are using this technology now to help them perform their best. And it can take putting from what used to be just kind of a, a look at it and see how it looks and how the roll looks to a real science. So I wanted to kind of walk you through a brief demo today with one of my students. Let's take a look now. He's going to hit a few putts on Sam Lab, and I'll show you some of the data that's going to correlate with those strokes. So Drew's hit his four putts, and now we've got 10 pages of data that's been generated, which is so much data, but it's great to have that amount of detail and accuracy in the measurement. So when I'm looking at Drew's numbers here, Drew's a good player. I've worked with Drew for a long time. His numbers have gone up, and I don't see this on a regular basis. The average player is going to have a score that's probably 50%. PGA Tour numbers would be like 90%. Uh, and Drew's score is 86.5 overall. So he's a very good putter. He's improved a lot. And I, I really like that, that it has these direct numbers that you can look at. Because then you work on things. Maybe you come back another session and we can look at what your numbers are and how you've improved over time. So Drew's tendency score is his mechanics. Aim, face at impact, spotted hits on the face, rotation. The timing is rhythm and tempo. Consistency is how often he does whatever he does. And then there's an overall score that's generated from those. Uh, let's look at it in more detail. So his aim is very close to zero. Not something I see a lot. Again, Drew's a good player who knows how to aim, and we've trained that with him. Normally, I'll see players that are pretty far off right and left with their aim, and they have no idea. So if you're missing pots, especially short ones, you'll see yourself miss three or four footers. It's probably aim. Uh, I'll see people be four, five, six, seven degrees off and wondering why they can't get the ball on their intended line. So this gives you really quick feedback on where you're aiming. A uh, left, uh, left face at impact would be a negative number. A right face would be a positive number. So his four aims are represented there on the left side of the screen. Uh, the direction that the face is at impact and the path would be our next screen. So the face is just slightly left at impact. And the path is very close to zero. Again, very good numbers, uh, not something I see very often. The top view of the path, so this is an overhead look of his putting stroke. The dotted line is his backstroke. The solid line would be his forward stroke. Uh, on the left side of the screen, you're going to see where is the putter, what direction is the putter traveling at impact, right or left. Negative number is left, positive number is right. We'd want this to be as close to zero as possible. Uh, the spot on the face that the ball hits, Drew is just slightly on the toe side. You want to make sure you're getting it as close to center as possible. That's a very important variable. The putter face actually twists open and closed when it's hit off center. You also won't transfer the same amount of energy to the ball. Uh, the launch. Now, if you get, if you have trouble with longer putts and you see the ball skidding right away on the ground, that's probably this screen telling you what's going on. So you might be hitting down on it with too much loft. You might not have enough loft. Uh, Drew, again, is in a really ideal place here. So he's got his loft at right around two degrees at impact and his rise angle, which would be his attack angle, he's hitting up on it about three and a half degrees. So he's in a really good place. That's something we can train with you as well. Uh, the rotation screen. Now this is pretty involved and something I'll get into more with my lower handicap players or someone who's been working with me for a while. Uh, this is just telling us how much the putter face opens and closes throughout the stroke and what would be ideal to get the ball to launch online. Drew is a pretty low rotation player. Uh, the face to path relationship is uh, telling us where his face is related to his path. Now his path is very close to zero, so he has a very square face relation to it, which is great. Uh, the dynamic screen is reading the speed and acceleration at different parts of the stroke. Something I will see at times is 
too much acceleration late into impact. That's a very common flaw. And Drew's in a very good place here. Timing is the backswing time versus the time to impact and also the entire forward stroke. So we want it to fall into a proper ratio of two to one backstroke time to impact. Uh, different, you can have different speeds there, but you want to try to fit into that two to one ratio. So this is just an overview of SAM Lab. You can see how much uh, data there's generated here, and it's really, really easy to help somebody improve now with this accuracy of the measurement. That's my favorite part about it. So if you're in my area, Maryland, PA, Delaware, stop by and see me and let's get you a SAM Lab evaluation. If you're not in my area, find somebody with a SAM Lab. It's so useful. It's such a beneficial tool. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Guyland. We'll see you next time.